let's learn this gorgeous little piece. Um, it's in the key of E flat minor. And oh my, it's got six flats. At that point, since there's seven flats possible, right? It might be easier to just keep track of what's not flat, which is F. So there's no F flat, but the rest are flatted. And um, it says slowly and quietly, and it's, it's quite slow. So 84 is about one, two, three, one, one. About that speed, I just checked before the recording, and it's in the um, six eight time signature. So in in this case, um, it's a little more difficult to feel it in two, even though it's in six eight time. But nonetheless, you probably have to still uh, divide the measure into two beats. So the first one, like for example, that's one, and then two, like that, right? And then one, and. Essentially, there is only two phrases. So first phrase has right hand melody goes uh, until measure five. And the second one has left hand melody. So it starts at pick up to measure five and then goes on to the downbeat of measure eight. No, six, seven, eight, measure nine. And then there's a short, short, short little ending. So it's, I mean, it's too short to even call it a coda, but we'll call it Co, I don't know, Codetta, because it's tiny. Okay. And it says cantabile whenever the melody starts. And there is two different dynamic, main dynamic signs. There's mezzo piano. So make sure that even though it's mezzo piano, it's not too soft because you have to save room for the pianissimo to come. And the way that Gilak writes the pedaling, of course, you can take a little more freedom with it. Um, you know, once you get more comfortable, but it looks like he's using it to let the quarter notes ring. So whenever there is quarter notes in the melody line, then there the pedal goes down. So keep that in mind. So let's look at the first part. Uh, it leads into E, G, A, B. So the challenge of this piece is actually the fact that it is so slow. If it was a little faster, it's actually easier to phrase. And then, it's almost like an ending. Right answer, I mean. But we have to get this whole phrasing feel in the slower tempo. That's the silent snow, I think. So let's try one. Ready, go, e. They're all flatted, pedal here. We're gonna just play the right hand, pedal, and E flex, so to rest, no pedal. This is the answer, pedal, and double flat is D, and soft is here. Okay, they both have hairpins, right? So make note of that. And then look at the left hand notes. The fingering given is to help you in measure two and three, to help you connect it physically. And I'm gonna go lower uh, my wrist on the, sec uh, the first one and then higher for the second. And the same thing here. Don't forget the flats. Lower my wrist and then higher. It's got a feeling of sighing almost. It's quite a sad piece. Uh, it's very poignant. It reminds me of like almost, you know, that fresh snow, not the yucky snow the day after it snowed for a while. Like when I used to live in Boston, um, the first day is amazing. It's, everything's white and you're just like, yay, snow is here. And then the next day it's like slush and it's black and they put like ugly blue salt on it. So your pants get ruined. Anyway. Um, this is probably more like you're in the middle of nowhere and then you look outside and it's not blizzard. That's scary too. Uh, it's just qu it's quietly snowing, literally. And it's the first day. So everything's fresh, fluffy snow. Okay, so just, just picture that while you're playing it. So now let's combine the hands together for the first four measures when the right hand has a melody. And remember, not too soft, 
because it's mezzo piano and you ha need room to go. One, ready, go. Lead in two. Oh, that was too loud, sorry. Pedal in. B flat is probably the loudest of this phrase. Two, three. And here, loudest of this phrase is E double flat here. It's supportive. that actually. So in the first phrase, uh, sorry, the loudest point, I'll circle with blue, is this one and this one. And let's use fingering for Q here. Three, one. And then this will be five, four, three, one. Okay. Now let's look at the next part with uh, the left hand is melody. Okay, so left hand is a softer section. You can even use soft pedal if you want, or just stay really close to keys. Or you can use flatter finger. belongs to B. So if you're playing these two keys, so there, yeah, the harmony works. And then we as slow as possible. And then E flat. And then let's go left, left, right, right. There's a retardando, so delay. As long as possible, listen to the sounds decay, and then let go. So let me apply the same things for, oh, did not mean to draw that line. Okay, same thing for the uh, left hand part. In general, it's softer. We are building up to here. And then right hand is, if left hand is PP, right hand is like PPP, so really, really soft. And then, sorry, it keeps on turning. And then next one, the we are building up to this part. And then kind of doing this. Very um, reflective piece. Um, is that even a thing? Uh, it causes you to kind of reflect, introspective. I think that's the word I was looking for. Um, thinking inward. Yeah. Okay. Hope you enjoy learning this piece. <laughs>